hey y'all what's good and let's get into this video we will be making fruit candy y'all so what i'm doing here i'm just washing my grapes y'all make sure y'all wash y'all fruit because you know you don't know what type of things or you know creatures or whatever is in your fruit so make sure you wash your fruit want to dry your fruit especially with the grapes y'all i do like many type of other fruits but today i'm gonna just be doing grapes y'all with the pineapples for instance since they have juice in there you are going to want to pour out the juice and then like get paper towels and dab 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 and then you're going to put the pineapples in the freezer but that's for the pineapples if y'all want a video of the pineapples let me know down in the comments just let me know what type of other fruits y'all want me to do but now we're in the um toothpicks y'all toothpicks so you're gonna stick the toothpicks in the grapes whatever end is not too loose make sure y'all put the stick like where it's like at least still to where like the toothpick won't come out of the grape when you're dipping it in the candy mix or am i saying that right into the y'all know the mixture y'all gonna see but anyway that's what your grape is supposed to look like on the toothpick but i'm gonna speed it up right here y'all when you are uh, doing the grapes they are not going in the freezer the grapes are not going in the freezer because we don't want them to like already break down whenever they come out the freezer and then whenever you dip them like you don't want them to already start breaking down so we're just going to wash them and then we're going to just let them chill out on the counter as we get our mixture together and then we're going to just dip them so they do not need to go in the refrigerator just let them chill out on the counter okay y'all so this part we are going to be crushing up some candy y'all some jolly ranchers y'all i got the different type of flavors um i think i did like watermelon type flavor pineapple i think i don't know i can't remember but y'all this part is my favorite part because I get to crunch up some candy y'all and it's so satisfying but you get you some powdered sugar to make sure the you know like the Jolly Ranchers won't get stuck together you just put powdered sugar I just kind of eyeball it I get a spoon and just put a dab here and there you know make sure you know I get all the spots and then after that when I put the powdered sugar away I'm going to just start it's like crushed and like chunk I think crush or something like that I do both of them because it's a small little you know crush or whatever so you just do that for about I do it like two three four five six ten seconds or however you want to do if you just want all of them crushed up in small pieces or you can do like big and small just depending on what you want to do y'all this right here that smoke y'all see that smoke baby it smells so good. It smells like like I'm in Candyland or something like, baby. It smells so good. But anyway, y'all, this is how I like my Candy Crush to be. Um, but y'all just do however y'all want to do. I mean, it's no type of way. However you like to do your candy, then that's up to you. So now we are going to get started on the mixture, y'all. So you're gonna want to get you. Um, hold on, let me see. Oh, oh okay so we doing the half a cup of water and corn syrup and then you get you two cups of sugar my bad y'all was confused so yeah so y'all just gonna do that and then y'all just gonna put it all in the pan or the whatever you want to call it so you get you another two cups of sugar y'all I'm making a whole mess y'all just seen it <laughs> dip that up in there y'all just dip it all up in a clean clean cleaning the sugar so this is the corn syrup y'all need and then we're gonna do a half of corn syrup y'all just do a half a cup i do a little teats over a half but i mean it kind of don't matter but just make sure you stay at a half a cup then y'all gonna want to pour it in with your sugar I usually get a spoon and just 
you know get all that corn syrup out get all of it that i can out so it won't be still up in the cup and then i get a half a cup of water i usually use the sink but i'm just gonna do the water bottle we have a purifier on the sink so i just do that or whatever but you're gonna do a half a cup and then you're just gonna pour it in there with your sugar and corn syrup after that well i'm gonna just wait just hold on Then y'all need to stir it all up. Make sure there's no sugar sticking to the bottom, y'all, because we don't want to let the sugar at the bottom burn. Because y'all, it is easy to burn. Then make sure y'all put it on medium hot, medium heat. Y'all turn it on medium heat. Then we're gonna get our candy thermometer, y'all. Make sure, or y'all really don't have to have a candy thermometer. I just thought it was best because when I first started off y'all like I was burning the candy and how I knew because it was turning brown on the side and it was like cooking that side more than the other side if that makes sense so anyway I just had got me a candy thermometer because it really helps me you know know where the candy thermometer is and make sure y'all at least leave it until it gets to like 300 or 305 it'll let you know on there so anyway y'all y'all see the words of saying fast bubbles that means it's not ready yet it's just getting started y'all so y'all don't have to sit there and look over the pot y'all so y'all can like easily just have the candy thermometer there and just don't stare at it you know you can do a little here and there but i wouldn't go too far away because baby you need to you need to watch it but um other than that these bubbles are too fast now we're at like a slow medium fast bubble um, we're close to getting there y'all if y'all can see my blue line right there on the thermometer um that means it's about maybe like 200 maybe getting close to like 300 degrees but it's maybe like, like 250 i don't know but it's like slowing down so that's how you can tell that the consistency is like finna get ready to you know be thickened up or like be ready to have that crack you know where you get that crack when you bite into the grape or the pineapple you hear that crack yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're looking for, y'all. So we need to look for like a slow pace bubble, y'all. Slow pace bubble. Like it don't have to be too, too slow, but like it needs to be slow, not like fast type bubbles, if that makes sense. I don't know if I make it sense or not, but yeah. I don't know if y'all can see, but like 300, like right up here. Oh, yeah, y'all can't really see. Uh -oh. So like the 300 is like right here to the top. That's what we trying to reach. Um, but you really, I mean, I would say you really don't need a candy thermometer. But like if you wanted to just to like see, make sure it said 300, then it's best to get one. But I use it because like I be freaking out that I may like burn it or something like that. Because like it's been times where I burnt the shit. So I was like, let me just give me a candy thermometer because it's like easy for me to just you know tell the um temperature but after this part y'all we are going to get the flavors and the grapes and we're gonna start dipping and i'll show y'all my dipping method that i use and yeah we'll be right back oh y'all okay so this is the time where we are finna get to dipping y'all but first we're going to make sure you get your make sure off the heat and then we're going to add the color that's what i'm i mean not the color the flavor y'all that's what i'm doing right now i just add the watermelon flavor uh lorraine's um oils that's the brand i use um but at the end when it starts you know coming down and we get ready to remove it off the heat you're going to add your color and your flavor i usually do the color first and then i add in the uh hold on hold on i'm sorry y'all i'm getting i'm lost i'm losing track you're going to get your flavor first and then you put your color in <laughs> so make sure you write that down flavor and then color y'all and then you're going to mix it as i'm doing right here and then make sure y'all get like a cup if and put water in it so like the spoon can go back in the cup to where you know it won't get that hard crack on there because it will harden up on the spoon and you have to get like hot water or whatever to get it off now y'all see that i'm adding white make sure y'all get white so like it won't have like a two-tone color when you do 
the um one color um dye or whatever make sure y'all have like white so it can like you know bring out that next color you want like see y'all see the blue that i'm doing i'm doing like a light dark blue i think i did but i'm adding like four to six drops because we don't want to thicken the color y'all i mean not thicken the color but thicken the candy so it won't be too thick so make sure you add like four to six drops at least the most so we just stirring them up stirring it up stirring it up making sure we getting that color that i want i think it was like a dark blue color i believe i don't know y'all but anyway after this we're going to be dipping the grapes y'all and y'all gonna see how i dip it i be trying to move fast because y'all that stuff be like turning back um hard like y'all see it's um liquidy now but like sometimes when i take too long it's like that stuff be fast to harden back up but to get it back unharded or liquidy you're gonna put it just back on medium heat and then let it let it do its thing for a good little minute but try not to let it burn y'all so don't have it too high y'all can at least put it like on low heat or medium heat just make sure you still stand in there so you know you won't burn it so my dipping met method is like you dip the whole grape in there and then you wipe off the sides so it's like dip dab dab just a little bit y'all that's it and then you have your candy grapes fruit candy grapes and then i'm gonna dip it into the candy mixture that when i um crushed up the jolly ranchers i um oh we y'all hold on <laughs> so when i dip it in the mixture and then i just dip it straight into am i gonna do this one nope i keep just dipping it in there so i dip it maybe this one maybe this one is it this one nope so I dip it in there and then basically I just dip it into the Jolly Ranchers and I just, you know, twist it all the way around so the um, candy can get onto the grape. But that's basically it, y'all. I mean, it's not too too big of a thing to learn now, y'all, at first. Okay, there we go. I'm dipping the candy up in there. Okay, okay. Y'all see how I'm just turning it, turning it, and see? That's how you do it. That's how, that's how I do it, y'all. Now, I don't know if it's the right way to do it or not, but that's how I do it. But y'all, at first when I started off as doing, you know, fruit candy, y'all, I was, I can literally show y'all a picture. Like, I can go on my Instagram and show y'all my first time doing the fruit candy, y'all. It was so embarrassing. Like, I thought I was doing something. But baby, I wasn't. Like, our real life was just, I don't know, y'all. I was just doing the chewy part. Like, it was still chewy, but I didn't understand it. I didn't look up on it, and I didn't, you know, educate myself up on fruit candy i just thought i could do it and just made a sale basically but i basically just let her you know have the um fruit candy but she still you know gave me a little tip or whatever and i appreciate that because you know she gave me encouraging words that you know practice make perfect and you know you got to keep going and just keep learning you know just stick to it and so baby i was like you know i'm gonna be confident and keep going and keep doing this and not be afraid and just show people you know what i can do and like educate myself up on so baby i did that you know and i got really good at it and i'm gonna keep practicing and going because you know i like these fruit candy and the people that have tried my fruit candy you know they love it as well so i'm really glad that i kept going and even though i was frustrated and trying to just persuade myself not to you know um keep continuing to do fruit candy it's like i oh see my grape don't fail <laughs> but I usually just let that grape be in there if I can't get it back out but anyway y'all so I just you know was frustrated at first at times and I just was like I'm not gonna let this stop me y'all I'm gonna keep going you know keep getting at it you know make this fruit candy happen that's what I did y'all so if you ever in a place or something you want to learn and you just get frustrated with it y'all don't stop there I mean practice makes perfect perfect as they say so you know don't stop there just keep going educate yourself keep practicing and keep you know whatever you feel it you can make it back again and try again y'all it's it it's it's not you know time to get up on give up on yourself all right y'all so we're basically towards the ending um 
I'm done with all the uh, fruit candy, fruit grapes, fruit candy grapes, y'all. And this is basically how it looks. I think they are very satisfying and they look great, y'all. Y'all see that um, glow? Okay, y'all, so all I'm doing here is just basically taking the toothpick out of the grapes. Um, make sure you take the toothpicks out of your grapes before you package them. This was nobody ordered. This was basically like a little test or like a little um, video that I was making for the fruit candy. Um, so usually I have gloves on, so make sure you have gloves on to where you won't touch the fruit candy. But how to get the toothpick out of the grape, you just twist the toothpick. That's all you're going to do is twist it. And it will automatically come out, y'all. But this is basically the end of the video, y'all. I hope y'all like it, y'all. And please comment and subscribe. If you would like another fruit candy, how to do fruit candy, let me know down in the comments below. Or give me just a thumbs up, y'all. I hope y'all like. Hit that post notification bell so you can know whenever I post, y'all. Bye. If you would like to place an order, please follow me on Instagram, sweets underscore of underscore sweetness23. Y'all can place y'all orders there. Thank you.